everybody, it's Matt Easton, your friend in apartment marketing. And on today's episode, we're gonna be talking about the attitude of a property. Yes, properties do have personalities and attitude. I've got about five meetings to hit before 2 p.m. today, so let's jump in the car, let me get my tie on. We'll pick this conversation up about what is the attitude of a property, why you should care, and what you can do about it. Okay, so you're at a party. You ever meet that kind of person within two seconds, you're like, do we just become best friends? Yup. Now, think about the other type of times you meet somebody and it's the other kind of person you're like, maybe the, maybe the person that served you at Starbucks or um, flight attendant on the airline where you're like, I can't get away from this person fast enough. It is the exact same thing with apartment communities. Whether you realize it or not, your apartment community has its own personality, just like it was a person. And it has a tremendous, tremendous impact on whether or not somebody wants to sign a lease to live there. You only want to be friends with people that you connect with and you certainly only want to live at a property that has a personality you connect with. Okay, so we've established that your property has a personality. Here's the four things I want you to do about it. The first thing that I want you to do is define the personality of your property. I want you to write down the five things that make your property unique. Maybe it's that you're the best luxury apartment in San Diego. Maybe it's that for the price point for affordable units, you offer the most there has to offer. Maybe it's the park you're next to or the school district you're in. Write down the five things that define the personality of your property. And don't forget about things like the staff, the community, the residents that are currently living there. Why would somebody want to be best friends with this property? Write down, I want you to go ahead and pause the video and write down those five things right now. Okay, did you write down the five things that make your property unique? I hope you did. If you didn't, stop and do it. This lease up behind me, we're already talking with them about what the personality of their property, and they're not even built yet. Okay, so here's the second thing that I need you to do. I want you to get everybody on board of what the personality of the property is. Don't just stop with community managers and assistant managers. I need you to get maintenance on board. I need you to get groundskeeping on board. I need you to get the accounting department on board, the marketing department, and of course, everybody that's resident facing at the property needs to know what the personality of your property is. And it's probably loud beeping noises if you're this property. Okay, so third and most important with your property's personality is you need to get everybody on board that there are zero throwaway moments. Just like when you meet that person at the party, everything that the, they, they do at the property, every way that property interacts with them is going to be affecting that potential resident's opinion of the community. So whether it's the maintenance guy walking across the uh, lawn, whether it's the leasing manager showing a unit, there are zero throwaway moments. Everything that you say and do is going to have an impact on your property's personality and is going to leave an impression on that potential resident. All right, so fourth and lastly, you need to make your community from the inside out a no negativity zone. I don't care what happens. Let's say the boiler explodes and you've got no hot water or um, there's a flood and we've had this with many of our communities in the Houston area. You need to be positive in every way and reflect positivity while you are interacting with your residents. Make your property a no negativity zone. People want to be around people that are positive and people want to live at positive communities. They can feel your energy. So from the top on down, from everybody to the property manager down to the junior maintenance technician, make sure that you let everybody know your community is a no negativity zone. Okay, so there you have it. First of all, I need you to recognize that your property has a personality and that personality has a tremendous impact on whether or not you're gonna get leases signed. The four things that you can do about it are number one, define the personality of the property. Number two, get everybody on board. Number three, establish that there are zero throwaways. Everything you say, do, and act at that community is gonna have an impact on potential residents and number four, make sure that your property becomes a no negativity zone. 
We can drive hundreds and hundreds of calls to the leasing office at multifamily traffic, but if your property has the wrong personality, you're not gonna close those leases and those leads that we give you. If you have any questions at all, whether it's on SEO, getting your properties ranked on Google, getting leads to the uh, leasing office, or anything at all, or you got a question for the next episode of Ask Matt, reach out to me. Our corporate office is 888-683-5885. You can reach us on our website at www.multifamilytraffic.com. And my cell phone is 303-803-7372. Look forward to hearing from you and be great. Thank you.